Legendary by Tyga. Tyga has had one of the best comebacks in hip hop. After seeming to disappear after his breakup with Kylie, Tyga fought his way back with one song at a time, having fun and crafting his music in his lane for his fans. Does his new album Legendary continue this trend? How do we feel about it? Here's our honest review of Legendary by Tyga. Tyga. You say goddamn? Goddamn. Yeah, goddamn. <laughs> Tiger man, uh-huh. your favorite rapper. Your favorite rapper. My man. favorite rapper. Yeah. Everybody, Kylie Jenner's favorite rapper. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about this album artwork? Yo, booty, Tiger in a black suit, white truck. Oh, I thought you were saying that album cover was booty. No, you just see ass. So I mean, hey, that's, that's just that, that's this was him. This Tiger. I mean, there's nothing else. I mean, it's a typical album title, uh, album cover to me. So it's not really special in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I like the legendary signature up there. The Rolls Royce truck is nice. The women are nice. The black suit he's wearing is, is pretty dope. Mm. He got his hair. I like the way he got his hair plaited like that. Mm. It's a cool album artwork, man. It's just, I feel like this kind of just let people know it. Like, hey, man, I'm here. I got the best comeback. <laughs> Fuck you on Jake, J- Draco, whatever his name is. <laughs> 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 yo, the flow of this album, man. Look, yo, this is Tiger's greatest hits of <laughs> the same song being redone over and over again. And that's the flow. How you You can you, you took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, this is just basically that pocket that Tiger excels at. And you got basically reskinned versions of the same flow. <laughs> Highlights, man. Look, I actually got quite a few highlights from this joint, man. I, um, uh, I like Light Skin Lil Wayne. It threw me off because I was just like, yeah, when is Lil Wayne going to rap? <laughs> when I looked at the title, I was just like, I thought it was Light, light skin, skin featuring, featuring Lil, Lil Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> yeah. And then the next song came on. I'm not paying attention. And then Lil Wayne came in. I'm like, yo, you can't have a song named Light Skin Lil Wayne. Follow that up with a song with Lil he Wayne. He had the intro with Lil Wayne, though. Yeah, yeah I mean, but, it, but both of those songs was actually really dope. I like them. Uh hot featuring chris brown and jay uh balvin i I take jay balvin off of it but uh, i think it's actually a pretty dope song uh what else do i like up here oh vibrate featuring uh sway lee i thought that was good february love featuring chris brown was good got am was good taste is good and made me featuring bozzy is actually really good to me that's the highlight of the album because it's the only song (laughs) that don't sound like everything else yeah man um I was feeling light skin Lil Wayne on, on me. I thought Lil Wayne sounded great. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I was really feeling vibrate and then February love. I like I like the collaboration. I agree with you on hot though. I didn't really need J Balvin. I didn't really add that much to the track. And then made me. I thought it was a great way to go out. It was the only sound different sounding sound on the on the album. And Bozzy was a real nice a- addition to that. Low lights, man. Blueface. Blueface being on anything. Okay, okay man. That dude's verse Bruh, was all we, over the place. We got to talk about something later that Dave recommended we do, but remind me about that. But, man, why does he got to come in like that on Look, everything I like, I like he raps his, I like his energy. But, man, like, the way he's all over the pocket. Like, how do you do that? Like, I'm talking about he's that dude at the shooting range that then drunk a fifth <laughs> and is missing all around the target. Like, that is Blueface rapping Was ability. Tiger sitting in the booth or did he send them this and he's just like. He couldn't have been in the same room. Like. <laughs> Because <laughs> he, he had to put this out just like, well, his fans will like it. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't fuck with exactly. it. His fans are rocking yeah, with it. Yeah, right. So, Blueface was definitely a low light. Gunner on Legendary. Yo, what is up with Gunner? Like, I don't know. I thought he was fire, and lately he's just been on some bull. Like, I'm like, yo, what is this? This this is trash, yo. Uh, Make It Come. I wasn't really a fan of that song. And uh, and it was something else, too. Nah, nah, that's it. Blueface. I'm just thinking of Blueface. Oh, yeah, too many. The the song that opened up the album. Like, I would have rather had it been, like, uh, Taste. Because I like the vibe of that. And that would have been a nice way to set the album off. Too many was kind of low down. But, yeah, it, it is what it is. This album has too many remixes of the same song. And that's my low light. Um, I feel like this isn't nothing that you would like just like listen to casually. You got to be in like a club setting. You got to be in like, I guess, a cool vibe with your friends, something like that. This is nothing really to recommend you like, yo, you got to hear that legendary. I'm not going to say that. Somebody else might, but not me. Because it's just literally the same kind of drum pattern, the same kind of flow, catching on the beat, riding and everything like that. And you, you get that everywhere here. 
and that's my main low light of the project is just that there's nothing really legendary in my opinion on this album i feel like when you had me go back and listen to his first album everything like he has so much like versatility and i'm not seeing nothing here except him working on his comeback pocket and that's cool but as far as it being legendary i don't think it is final final thoughts man look i want to point out nobody raps on dj mustard beats better than tiger tiger is the master at it yg's not better jeezy's not better i don't care who it is they're not better M- lma she's not better tiger can take a dj mustard beat and make it sound good because all dj mustard beats don't sound good uh but like you said it's 13 remixes of the same song was tiger successful in making them sound good i say about eight of them yeah he did a hell of a job flipping the same sound over and over again he's got some kind of funny lines that i kind of laughed at here and there but he's not showing the promise that i saw when i heard his first album his debut album and when he was signing with young money and he was just on a tear like he like you said he's just on his comeback pocket which is cool i'm, I'm glad he's back and he's here because most people that mess with a kardashian a career is done and Tiger is the only one to escape from the sunken place and still be making good quality music and made it featuring Bozzy shows that he can do more if he wanted to. Yeah, um, I feel like Tiger has captured the sound. He definitely has captured, you know, the sound where it's a go to and it's going to be a hit. It's going to get radio play. It's going to get club play, whatever, whatnot. But I, I'm afraid that, you know, he's just going to get just comfortable and just stay in this lane when I feel like he can tackle other types of music and be more versatile but you know in, in that in that respect I know this album may not be for me but for the people that just want something to casually enjoy and listen to it's cool but it's, it's, it's nothing legendary final grade man look if you throw in a house party you want to throw some joints on want some girls to twerk and all of that this is the proper album for that but Tiger could do better than this, man. I, I know he can. I've heard it done before. Tiger is actually really dope, really dope MC, for real, for real, really versatile. But you don't see that here. You get 13 remixes and one original song. I got to give it a dash. I hate to do that. Tiger's my man. For real, for real. Damn, Tiger. <laughs> Got in. I guess I'm going to give it a dash. And it's on the lower spectrum of a dash. Come on, don't do my man like I'm that. I'm just saying. It just barely cuts it because he executes the I bet sound you this flawlessly. Is better than future. Oh, yeah. I bet you this is 10 times <laughs> better than future. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> but, you know, this is on the lower spectrum of dash just because I feel like he, I can't knock his skill. He captured the sound. He captured the crowd. That's him. But you, you, you better than this. Was, was this better than Yandi or whatever the hell? What was Kanye's last album called? I forgot. I don't. You you remember what? Nobody remembers what it's called. It was that forgettable. Bi- bipolar. I am bipolar. I, am. I love it. No, that's the message on the album. Yeah, cover. What that's was not the... the name of the album. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Damn. it better than Yay? <laughs> no. You like Yay better than this? Yeah, I can take Yay better than this. Okay. 